Hello and uh, welcome back. Today I'm gonna do a little thing and that is I'm going to replace an encoder. And a lot of complaints were about it. I'm a member of a few Facebook groups about these little receivers. The SI4732. And uh, this is the ATS25. And this encoder is, is nice. And it's smooth and it works. But uh, from its little brother, this one, the ATS20. It just misses a lot of steps and it's just the quality of this encoder is just not that good. And uh, so I thought I would just try. I just bought a few encoders from uh, AliExpress, not expensive at all. And I'm just gonna see which one fits best. And uh, I don't think it's very complicated to, uh, to make the quality better than this one because it really is uh, not that good. So uh, let's open, see which one fits best. Let's see how it's even mounted because I think we can just pull and it just looks that it is soldered directly to the front. I will zoom in on that and uh, maybe we can improve it. So here we have it, the ATS20, nice little receiver. Uh, yeah, the only downside is this encoder it's a very cool it's a it's an open source project you can see all the people that cooperated with it ricardo did most of it with his uh, library here and uh, i think this one is the almost the latest firmware at least two weeks ago it was the latest and uh, well it does seem to respond now but if you do a little bit quicker it just doesn't do anything now it actually responds quite well, but that is not all the time. So, uh, and it's an encoder with push also. Oh, so, uh, let's see. So what did I buy? I bought different encoders because I bought it when I was away and I didn't know if it was a star. This one is a star or it is a moon. And if it was long or short shaft, well, now we can see it is a short. This is long. So the long ones don't go. And here we have the moon and the normal. And I fear one different one. I don't know why. This seems to be a lower quality than the big ones here. So what I need, I have here a short shaft star. If I want to fit it on this one, yes, that does fit. Okay, so this is an option. But I also wanted another knob because this knob was kind of small. So I have here a knob that looks a little bit better. And I have also here two other knobs to see which one fits best. I'm afraid this one is a little bit big. This one is maybe this one. Yeah, this will do better. I like this bigger knob and it has, but I think that will be too much. I can test it already. All right. Yeah, that's a bit too much, I think. It does work. Hmm. Nice, nah, too much. This size is better. Okay, but that means we need the moon. So then I need the short shaft moon. We end up with this one. Uh, let's see. Uh, we open, switch it off. How is this mounted? Uh, so we have this. And the three are right there. Let's 
bigger. Let me try to get this out, but I think it is kind of glued, so that is stuck. I need to take out the front. I think I need to desolder this pin. Let me zoom in on that. Yeah, they did put here an extra ground wire, uh, but it was soldered very poorly. And uh, when I opened it the time before, when I pulled it, it just fell off. And I did hear problem, uh, people that said they had the problem sometimes with the, uh, resetting or that the buttons don't respond. So this could be your problem. And it, that this ground pin is not connected and it should be on the outer lower pin here. So I will just remove that so we have better access to now. I'll just take that off. And now we have better access this flat cable is just around and around. Yeah, maybe I can take this out and have, let me just see. So we need to be able to read the letters and put it like this. Okay. Mm, yes. Okay. Let's see how this is done. Well, it just looks like that. It is just soldered. There is no screw. There is nothing. It's just hanging on its solder pins. And yeah, it does look very similar. Three pins there. Two there for the switch. And it has a little spacer. So let's just try to get it loose. This one. I need to be careful not to make it too hot, but as you, because if you can see, it's just in the front, it's also connected. Yeah, one. If these wires get too hot. Then they just fall out. So fold these away a little bit. Same here. that encoder yeah it is smaller and it does have a spacer so I think if we take out that spacer it is more or less the same let me get the same one if you want to put back your old knob you can use this one I think but let me just try this one. And yes, it is a little bit longer, but I think the button is also a bit bigger. And it will cover that, I think. So put the spacer back on. Let me put some solder on the pins first. How, how well this?
Now, you can put some extra glue here and there, but just uh, let's see if this actually functions. It does look like it is stuck. It does feel a lot better. Let's put it back together. Let's see. <laughs> that does work. Only the only thing is, it goes uh, the other way around. Look. If I move it up, and it responds very well, even when I do fast. But goes the other way around. So let's see if I can find uh, which two wires I need to turn. Well, I'm now just going to look in my uh, AliExpress order where I ordered this uh, encoder to see which wires I maybe need to turn, what makes sense, because left works, right works. So maybe it's just the two, two data lines that I need to switch. So I don't know. Uh, what it was, but I do know what I put in because of my AliExpress order. So I, I will just see uh, which one I need to uh, switch. This is the first time I actually play with these encoders, but uh, I found a picture and most commonly is that uh, two outer pins are the data up and the data down pin. And the middle is the common, so that means I just need to change the two outer pins. Well, I probably could also change the code in Arduino that it needs to do exactly the other way around. But I'm now on the standard software and uh, I kind of like that. So I will just try to change those two pins. I think I need to put a little bit isolated plastic in there just to make sure it doesn't touch. Uh, let's see how that goes. Well, this is not my best work, but I managed to just switch the two pins just by crossing the wires with some isolation. It is, as I said, not my best work, uh, but it seems to be stuck. I think I need to do with this, uh, with the glue gun, because uh, this encoder is just held by, just held by the soldering itself. And uh, because I crossed it here, it is not that strong an anymore, and it is only held now by the by the middle pin. So I should put some melt glue there and there, but uh, it doesn't move. You don't need to put too much force on the encoder. Uh, the stick is a little bit longer, but that is okay because the knob is also longer. And then uh, it actually looks quite nice. Look at this. Let me push it a bit more. Look at that. A nice encoder knob. So let's see what I did. Is any good? Try to get the flat cable back in. That is a bit tricky. It's not made for on and off many times. Don't forget the ground wire here. No, well, let's see. Yes, now it goes up and it goes down. Wow, look at that. Is this encoder indeed is better? And that it is another knob. Yeah, that's just a nice uh, extra. I like the knob is a little bit bigger. But it's not too big. I think it's still good. So that was really easy. We just replaced this cheap encoder with a, a lot of little better one 
you see it sticks out a little bit more um, but I also nah. so that's the only thing it goes out a little bit more but if you put a, that spacer in there it is uh, okay and you need to see what you want if you want to keep the original knob you will be using this the star and if you want to bigger knob what I just did then you need this uh, moon or a half circle and uh, I will leave the items uh, below of course and does it work now let's see Very nice response of the encoder. So that's how easy it is to uh, replace the encoder. And uh, I must say it really works a lot better. So I'm happy I did that. I'm probably also going to do it with my other uh, ATS20 right here. I have one. Uh, I think it's made by, uh, by a Russian. Very nice firmware. This is the one from uh, Ricardo from Brazil. Uh, yeah, both of them I like to, to switch over with the firmware so I can play a bit, but it really bothered me the encoder. So I will also do this uh, later. And uh, I like the bigger knob also. If you see the difference between the two, it just it sticks out a little bit more, but it still doesn't bother me. And uh, it just feels better when it's bigger and it's metal. So I will leave both the items of the encoder and the, and the knob in the bottom. So if you have problems with your encoder or you just want a better one, that will probably help. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time.